Hello everyone. So the purpose of this very video is to make us understand that if we have a protein entry or a new protein sequence and we don't know its structure, then how we can determine its structure. So first of all, in order to know this, uh, any new sequence or new protein entry from where we can find it out. So there is a database called Uniprot Knowledge Base, which uh, we go on Google and we type here Uniprot KB Knowledge Base. Its URL is www.uniprot.org. It is an organization. And this organization enters the new pro protein entry sequences with its functional anno annotation on a regular basis. And then it is updated in other databases from here. So here we have Uniprot knowledge base. And suppose we want to find out any new protein entry whose sequence is present with its functional annotation, but its structure is not known. So what we will do? So suppose SARS coronavirus 2 new is a new virus, and there are many proteins have not have been uh, recently sequenced whose structures haven't been determined. So we will go for it. So here we will type SARS coronavirus 2. Friends, this is simply the technique which which we are going to understand that what if any protein is given to us new protein and we don't know its structure then how we can do it so we, we should be this is simply i have taken the sars coronavirus 2 protein from uniprot knowledge base you can check other protein sequences as well so these are the protein entries we can see now among them we want to take human 31 results have come so uh, the new entries have been written as2 bs2 these are now uh, we want to find out that uh, which of the protein entries structure is present in uh, uh, pdb which is protein data bank uh, uh, before that i would like to uh, say something about protein data bank what is pdb or uh, uh, pdb so we will write your protein data bank we will go to uh, google and we will write here PDB or Protein Data Bank. Its URL is PDB here. Its URL is rcsb.pdb.org. So here we can go to RCSB PDB Research Collaboratory of Proteins or Protein Data Bank. And here we will find out one of the protein entries who's whether to determine whether its structure is present or not so here we can see the entries are there here the entry name and here the protein names here the gene names here organism name so any but any entry we can select for example we select here uh, suppose this second entry so we copy the text here control c and we will go to ncbi ncbi national center for bio Technology information, NCBI dot NLM dot NIH dot GOV. So this is the repository of many databases uh, and contains the information about genes, proteins, its sequences, and many other things, literature, etc. So now here we will paste that protein entry sequence and we will search that what information has been updated in NCBI for this very protein entry. Yes, we want to find out the protein name as well. Here in Uniprot, the protein name was given. Yes, for this protein, it was BST2. Now, this very protein is updating here. Meanwhile, yes, bone marrow stromal antigen 2 precursor. So it's this is actually also known as HM1.24 antigen or tetherine. So this very protein, its sequence length is 180 amino acid. So suppose we want to determine the structure of this very protein. So we will look. We will copy the text and we will go to PDB that whether the, this protein sequence has its structure or not in PDB. We will again move to PDB. Yes. And we will paste here the name of this very protein. And we can find out here that 
the result will come like in Homo sapiens, th this much number of results has been there. And the exact, these are the structures. We find out the homologous structure, which is very much homologous to this very protein, this protein entry, Q10589. How can we do that? So we will find out the faster sequence of this very protein. We go to faster sequence. Yes. And the faster sequence will be loaded here. We want, we want to run the blast of this very sequence. What is the purpose of running blast? It will find the regions of similarity between this sequence and other sequences. So we will run blast of this very faster sequence of the protein entry we have taken here of SARS coronavirus 2 protein in order to determine the structure. So here we run blast and strengths this technique we are learning in order to find out the target and template sequences for homology modeling, which is the first step of homology modeling in order to determine the structure of the protein. So here we will search protein data bank from the database section. Above already the accession number is given and the blast P tab, which is protein blast has been selected in order to compare the sequences and the algorithm used is blast p which is protein protein blast because we are going to compare more than one protein sequences which are homologous to this very protein sequence and in algorithm parameters we want to find out maximum number of target sequences or subject sequences as 250 so we have we can change the number from here so we want to keep it to 250 we will run blast from here it takes some time for blast for the result to come it the page automatically generates the result in few seconds yes so the result is before you now we can see that these are the results now we can go to the e value what is a good e value we will we can select that e value or expected value we can see the query coverage percentage and we can see the percentage identity so uh, here we can see that the, this one 1 e minus 69 96.33 percentage identity and 60 percent query coverage is there now let us move to the alignment section alignment section yes so we will move a little lower and we will see that here in this we can see chain a crystal structure of ectodomain mutant of bs2 tetherine so this the above is the query sequence the above line is the query sequence, means the sequence of the protein entry we have selected in FASTA format. This is. And the third line is the subject sequence, means the template sequence on the basis of which we will build the structure of our query sequence. So actually, the template sequence and the target sequence. Template sequence means subject sequence and target sequence means query sequence. These two sequences need to be selected, which is the first step for the homology modeling in order to determine the protein structure of an unknown protein sequence. Uh, yes. So I think the things might be clear to you. So let us discuss about it further in details in my next video. Thank you so much.